All right, let's pull our chain link texture into Unity and into Unreal and just give them a quick little test. Okay, so I've gone ahead and opened up the location of the texture here. And what I want to do is I want to try to move this guy, but the mouse isn't letting me. There you go. I want to drag and drop this into my texture folder here that I have inside of Unity. All right, so I just set up a Unity project here. And I'm going to go and drag and drop that into the scene. And actually, before I go and do that, I'm going to go and create a material that I can drag and drop into the scene onto a grid. So let's just call this chain link met. And we're going to assign our albedo to it. I'm going to set this guy to fade. And we are going to tile this a couple times there. All right, so then I'm going to go and create a plane in the scene and just drag and drop my texture on there. And look at that. Perfect. That is awesome. Very, very cool. All right, so with that, we now have a tiling texture. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is jump over into Unreal and do the same quick test. And now we're going to close out this section and move on to getting this set up onto an HDA that creates a chain link fence for us. Because why not? We have a texture now. Might as well automate the creation of a chain link fence as well. All right. So let's walk through the Unreal side of things. It's pretty much the same. Uh, we just have to do a little bit of material setup. But for overall, I mean, it's a really basic process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop the texture into my textures folder. Now I just went and created that. All right. And I'm going to go and save this guy just to make sure we commit it to the project. All right. So what I need to do is first let's come into the scene up here and let's just put in a plane like so. And let's scale it so we can see it. I'm going to hit G on the keyboard to get rid of all those gizmos. Cool. Let's go and create a new material now. All right, so I just right click down here and create new material. I'm going to call this chain link mat. There we go. And what I want to do now is just pop this guy open and we're going to get some stuff set up here. So I'm going to select the texture and then inside of the material editor here, I'm just going to hit T on the keyboard or hold down T and then left click. And what that'll do is it'll create a texture sample for me and automatically hook up the texture that I had selected in the content browser. Cool. So right off the bat, we can just come in here and connect that into the base color. All right. So we take the RGB colors and put it into that base color. And now I need this to be translucent or transparent. All right. So to do that here inside of the material editor, I'm going to select the base node here and switch the blend mode over to translucent like so. What that does is it exposes the opacity input right here. So we can drag our alpha value into that opacity. And after it's done compiling here, I'm going to hit apply and save. We should see the chain link texture on the sphere here. All right, and there we go. So let me switch this over to a quad and let's go and create a texture coordinate node so we can modify the coordinates. So I'm just going to type in coordinate and then select the texture coordinate node. And then the next thing I want to do is I need to multiply this value because coming out of here, we have a vector two value for the X and Y tiling. All right. So you could just go and plug that straight in like that. But what I want to do is I want to multiply it. So we have control. All right. So I'm going to hold down M on the keyboard and create a multiply node. I'm going to hold down one on the keyboard and create a constant. All right. I'm going to set this constant to a value of two just for now. All right. Let's go put that guy in there and put that guy in there. Cool. And I'm going to pump that into the UVs. There we go. Oh, I keep missing it. There we go. Cool. So now I've tiled it twice. All right. Cool. So that's looking pretty good. It looks like if when it's really zoomed out like that, we are getting a little bit of a seam in there. But I think that's just because of the ambient occlusion that we multiplied over there. So I'll have to move that around. But for the pattern itself, we are tiling perfect. Awesome. So I'm just going to close that down and let's just uh, drag and drop our material onto our plane there. Now it's going to be kind of hard to see here, but you can see we have chain link fence pattern all created in Houdini with a bunch of nodes. Very cool. All right. So I'm going to leave you guys there and we are going to close out this section and talk about the concepts that we covered throughout the section.